Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video, I'm going to be staying up late to do a new nail design on my nails and I thought you guys might like to watch. I'm going to be starting with my favorite Red Bull to help me stay up today. It's the tropical flavor and yeah, it's my favorite. It just tastes really good. So first thing we're going to have to do is remove the color and the design that I have on right now. It's this pink design with like daisies painted on it and I did upload a YouTube tutorial on how I did these nails. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. I will try to link it for you guys. So I'm just going to take my electric file or e-file and I'm going to like shave off all of the um, color and top coat. In this video, as you can see, I'm using the fine tip from the um, tips that I got on Amazon. And so it took a while, I realized that I had to switch over to the medium and that helped a lot more. So definitely use a medium tip and this will come off just so much easier and quicker. And then once the color is off, you can go in with a nail file like I did and just make sure that everything's smooth and then go over the shape and the sidewalls again. Make sure that um, everything is shaped up the way that you want. And then I went in with a buffing block and buffed the top so that they could be like as smooth as possible. Once I decided that I was happy with the design, I went ahead and washed my hands with soap and water, came back, I dried them with this pink, or sorry, purple little towel that I keep with me, and you can still see a little bit of the color on the glitter, but that's okay because I'm gonna cover those nails anyway, so I think I'm happy with it. Now we can get, to <laughs> get deciding on the design. I wanna go with like a Kurumi theme, so I have these black and purple um, Kuromi decals that I'm using as like my inspiration for what I want to do. So I'm kind of just going through them and kind of picking which ones fit on my nail best and which ones I want. I know I want to go with purple. So I have these swatches on this little swatch ring of all the gel colors that I have. I don't have that many, but I think I want to choose these two opaque purples or lavenders and then a glitter and a black. And then I might also go in with a little bit of this silver holographic chunky glitter, but we'll see. And I'm going to go over the polish details because I'm sure you guys want to know. We're using Breaking Muse, Lilac Madness, Black Addict, and Magnets from Nail Addict, which is now called Nail Reserve LA. And we're also using Your Sugar in color UR01 from the Sandy Sugar series. I'm also using Gelish PH Bond and Pro Bond and Mia Secrets for the top coat. And then I also really wanted to try nail decals for the first time. So I got these little black Karomi faces, and then I also got little pink My Melody faces with the pink bow, and these little iridescent bows. They're in pretty colors, pink, blue, and white. And then lastly, these little tiny pink gummy bears. I also have this wheel of like little rhinestones and stuff that I could use. So I'm going to decide what colors I want. I think I want to do something a little different for each nail. So I'm going to organize the gel colors in front of me, kind of like in the order that I would pick for my fingers, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to paint the base colors on, and then I'm going to go in with the stickers and the decals. So I'm going to go ahead and prep the nails first. I'm going to start with a little like cotton round and alcohol. And I'm just going to um, wipe my nails to clean off any um, powder or residue that would be left over. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with the Gelish pH Bond. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure to saturate the nail as much as possible with this. And make sure to get it on every edge. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with the Gelish Pro Bond. I'm going to put that right over in the same way. But I'm going to try to avoid the skin as much as possible. I'm not exactly sure why, but it says so on the bottle, so try to avoid the skin. And then once we're done with that, I'm going to go in with the color. And this is sped up, so I did let it dry a little bit. But the first color I'm using is going to be Breaking Muse by Nail Reserve. I know the bottle says Nail Addict, but they recently changed their name to Nail Reserve. I'll link them in the description. But yeah, I just put one thin coat and then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And then I'm moving on to the ring finger where I'm going to be using Lilac Madness. And again, just a thin coat and then cure it in between like for the next coat. And I'm going to do the first coat on all five nails before I move on to the second coat. And I'm just curing in between each nail because I'm kind of clumsy and I don't want to um, 
like mess it up or bump an L into the other. So I'm just taking my time with this. Um, of course, you don't have to. You could if you wanted paint all the nails and then cure them together but this is just how i made sure not to mess up the nails the black color i will say was very opaque and really really nice so i'm only going to do one coat of that one and then the glitter color is like a sheer really pretty purple glitter and i liked the like kind of sheer look i felt like it was different from the opaque nails so that one i'm also only going to do one coat i think it's just the um, lavenders or light purples that i'm going to do the two coats in and the thumb, I'm going to go in and repeat the pattern. So the thumb, I'll do the light purple again, which was called Breaking News. And that one is really milky and like thin and light. So I feel like we're going to have to go over it with the second coat. Like, yeah, as you can see, both the lavenders are kind of milky and thin. So I think we're going to have to go over them with the second coat to get them really opaque. And the black is a little bit bumpy, but I'm going to cover that with a little like resin piece. So I think it's fine. Here is how they look with that second coat on them. Much better. They all look like opaque, shiny, really pretty, not bumpy. So now I'm going to go and paint the same base colors on my right hand and then we can get to decorating. But first I wanted to show you guys a little trick that I have for cleaning up messes. I take this um, brush with a little bit of acetone or alcohol and as you can see I like overspilled a lot because I'm using my left hand which is my non-dominant hand to paint my right hand and I tend to mess up a lot. So I take this little brush and I go in and I brush off all of the excess gel before I cure it in the lamp. And then it looks really good. You wouldn't even be able to tell that I had messed up so much. So this is how they look with the polish. I think they look really good. And now we can get to the fun decorating part. So like I said, I'm gonna be using these little decals. I'm not sure which nails I wanna put them on yet, but I know I wanna use the purple ones. I have small ones and big ones, but we'll have to choose which ones fit better. Probably the small. I'm going to grab this tray from my website. It's this cute little My Melody tray. I have a bunch of different ones on my website if you wanted to check it out. And I'm just going to lay out all of the um, 3D pieces and stuff that we want to use and put them all on the tray so they're easier to see and easier to access. And oh my god, look at them. They're so cute. I love them so much. So. Now I'm going to take my pickup tool. I have this white pickup pencil. I think the wax ones are better, but I left all my wax ones at my shop. I didn't bring them. But anyway, um, this is like the design I kind of decided on. I'm going to do one purple bow in the middle and then a Karomi head on the index finger. And then I'm going to choose these decals for the other fingers. And I think I'm going to use the maids. I'm like really into the Karomi like Lolita maids. So I definitely want to use those. And then maybe these like um, cute little Lolita hearts. I think those are adorable too. So I'm going to use those most likely because they seem to fit pretty well on all of my nails. And I did switch up the colors on my right hand. They're a little bit different than the left. So I'm going to do a, a different design on every nail and kind of do it a little bit different. So these decals actually ended up really easy to use. You just pull them off like stickers. I'm using a pair of tweezers and then this silicone tool to kind of like push it down and smooth it over. And since they're really thin, they're made for nails. They wrapped around the nail really nicely and adhered very well. So I'm just going in and picking different um, cute designs and sticking them down wherever I think would look nice. And then after that, I'll go in with the 3D decals and then any glitter that I might want to add. So once I finished putting the last sticker on, this is the look. I really love it already. I got so excited. It's so Karomi and we haven't even finished yet. So now we're going to add the 3D decals. I'm using this like 3D nail glue that I got from the nail kit that I got on Amazon and the same little UV lamp that came in the nail kit. I'll tag it for you guys or I mean I'll link it for you guys in the description. So basically what you're going to do is get the nail glue and kind of like glob it is the best way I can describe it and like spread it over the area where you want to um, put the 3D piece and then get your um, pickup tool and pick up the piece. In this case I'm using the purple bow first and then kind of just place it where you want, move it around until like it looks like it's aligned and it's in the right place. And then I'm going to tap the little lamp to turn the light on and stick my nail in there and the UV light will cure the glue to make it stick really well. And after 30 seconds in the lamp, this is how it looks. It's so cute. I love it. I'm going to do the same thing on the ring finger to attach the little Karomi face. 
I'm gonna use tweezers to pick it up because it's pretty heavy and with this one I'm taking my time because it's heavy it moves and I'm making sure looking at it through all angles that it really is like centered on that nail and I made sure to use a lot of glue so it could really get like around the horns and everything and I'm gonna cure this for like 30 seconds in the little lamp and I'm gonna put both fingers in there so they could both cure as much as possible and cure together. So here's how the 3D objects ended up looking on the left hand. There's a little bit of space underneath the purple bow, which I don't like because I feel like my nail is going to snag on my hair or clothes. So I will be putting a little extra UV nail gel underneath that to kind of smooth it out. But for now, I'm going to work on the right hand. I'm gonna put the 3D objects on there the same way that I did the left. I'm going to make sure that they're centered and placed neatly and then cure in the UV lamp for 30 seconds. And this is how both hands look with the little 3D objects on there. I think they're so cute. I love the thumbs the most. Those are my favorite. I try to do something different on each nail so the hands aren't too like matchy matchy or like a perfect mirror of each other. And I think it looks great, but I think we need a little more glitter. So I think I want to go in with the gel color magnets from Nail Addict, which is just like a silver glitter. Here's a little swatch that I have of it. And I'm testing it over all of the nails, and I feel like it would go good with the black and with the lavenders, so I might use this option. Okay, I decided instead to go with the Your Sugar color gel in UR05, which is like this holographic silver that um, has more fine glitter and is more packed. And I'm gonna just kind of dab it around the stickers and then I'm gonna take a little brush and kind of disperse the glitters and make sure they're more like evenly spread out and try to avoid the sticker. Now for the lavender nails I decided to instead use that same purple glitter that I used earlier and then kind of put that on the tips and I'm just dabbing it on there and then I'm going to take that same brush that I just used and I'm going to pull the purple glitter down and kind of spread it out to give a little bit of an ombre effect. And I'm going to do this to all of the purple nails. And once I'm done with all of the glitter, I cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and this is the look. I'm going to be finishing them off with Mia Secret Finish Gel Ultra Shine, which I'll link in the description for you guys. And here I'm just putting one nice thick coat on all of the nails and then curing for 60 seconds and I'm making sure to get around the little 3D objects but I will say that I wish I would have done two coats if you're sealing nail decals I would definitely say use two coats but this is how it looks cured super shiny and glittery really pretty I would say I'm really happy with these decals and with these nail gels and I think the design is really cute let me know what you guys think Alright, so that's all for the nail tutorial. Thank you guys so much for staying up and doing my nails with me. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to go on a date with my husband. So if you want to watch me vlog about that, then stay tuned. Alright, so it's the next day and my nails are done. I love them. I still think they look really nice. So for today, me and my husband are going to go on a day date. We're going to go to the Sanrio store in Pasadena. And then we're going to grab a bite to eat at Grilla Mall in Alhambra. And we're going to take you guys along with us today to enjoy the day with us. Alright, so we're at Starbucks. We just got our drinks. Show your drink. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Okay, so we got um, Starbucks double shots on ice. Oh no. Okay, that's not what we got. Sorry. <laughs> that's what we used to get. We actually just got... I got three shots over ice. And he got like five, five shots, shots on ice five shots on ice with, with, a splash of milk. with a splash of milk and sweetener so now we're gonna get on the freeway and we're gonna go to San Rio Pastina so this is honestly one of my favorite Starbucks drinks it's really good I get it every day but I do have to warn you that it has a lot of caffeine in it because of the espresso so if you're not good with caffeine then I would get less shots or maybe just do an iced coffee and here's another look at my nails from last night I do have a band-aid on because I'm clumsy and I had a little accident in the bathroom this morning, but it's okay. I just want to show you guys what the nails look like in daylight and how they look the next day. I think they're super cute. They look really nice still. I live in Castaic and the store we're going to is in Pasadena. So it took about an hour or a little less to get there. But here's a little clip of us pulling up to the super cute storefront. Alright, so we just parked. Hi. 
and we literally parked he parked <laughs> right in front of the sanrio store it's like right there hopefully you guys can see it so we're gonna um get off and go check out the store hopefully they let us film so let's go see so here's a look at the outside of the store it's honestly so cute they have cute sanrio decals all over the windows and if you look through the windows you can see cute plushies and toys and they even have pink baskets for shopping i love these little friend of the month stickers decals that they have on the side of the door so cute so let's go ahead go inside and i'll show you the rest as soon as you walk in they have all these cute bins and to the right they have these adorable like easter baskets because easter is coming up and then some cute bags and these really adorable plushies that come in a snow globe this little twin stars acrylic stand and then over here a little to the left they have this pen stand with like the cutest pens i know you guys are always asking where i get my pens so this is like the cutest they have so many and then right over here they have even more pens and pencils like they have so many of them i'll definitely check that out then they have this like mid section that has like plushies hair ties all kinds of stuff and these little mascots are like to die for I fell in love with this little black and pink My Melody one, like it is so cute and she has little angel wings in the back. And then there's this little strawberry My Melody one. And then they have this section for like um, hair clips and they have so many characters and so many different kind of clips and lanyards. And then over here they have these tiny little mascots that are on swings and I fell in love with them. They're so tiny, like itty bitty they fit in your palm. And they actually connect you can connect them all and like swing them from each other so cute they even have like cups masking tapes little holders for your cords which is so cute like really helps with organization and then this little cassette tape with little masking tape in it that is so cute that really caught my eye and it matches my nails so that's a plus then they have this whole wall with like stationary memo pads notepads letter sets stuff like that calculators little lunch boxes i love the chromey one and the hello kitty too a bunch of containers dispensers cups plates like i can hardly even name all of the things they have and then they have a wall full of plushies like so many plushies and they have these cute little like house things. My twin sister wanted this one, I think. And then they have these cute little clothing that are for the Sanrio dolls. They're so cute. They have like clothing for every character. And then they have like a section full of little pouches and bags and backpacks and stuff. And honestly, you name it, they have it at this store. It's like full to the walls with things. Even at the cash register, they have like so many cute things. Alright, so that's all for the Sanrio store, but I do want to give a big thank you to the owners for being so nice and so helpful with us. They're amazing. Alright, so we just got out of the Sanrio store. We got a bunch of cute stuff, right Wes? Oh yeah, very cute stuff. Cute stuff. There's the big bag in the back. Um, So now we're hungry. I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm hungry, yeah. So we're going to head to grill them all for lunch. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but it's like a burger spot. And it's kind of unique, different. I'm going to show you guys the menu and show you the inside and stuff. And then we'll pick some burgers out and yeah. All right, so it took us about 10 minutes to get to Grill Em All from Sanrio Pasadena. Here's a clip of us being annoying and then another clip of us walking up to the Grill Em All. They just put in a boba time there. I haven't been to it and I really want to try it. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. So if you have a recommendation for what I should get, let me know in the comment section. But let's go ahead and get inside. So this is the view as soon as you walk in. They have a lot of um, art and paintings and stuff on the walls which I appreciate. They also have a lot of like sticker bomb stuff, which I think is cool because it gives you something to look at and something to do to pass the time in the line. The line is usually about this long or even longer. In the back is the bathrooms and they're all gender restrooms, which I appreciate. The door in the bathroom is sticker bombed, which I think is really cool and gives a cool look. Um, the mirror is like scratched up and sticker bombed, but it's, it's usable. And then here's another look at the inside while we're waiting in line. You can see more of the art. And now you can see the menu. It's a um, metal themed, like metal band themed menu. So the burgers and items are going to be named after bands and after members of bands. And then beneath the name of each burger, they're going to have a description of the burger. 
I think that's really cool. It's very unique and very different. And these are really high quality, really good burgers. Right here, we are at the cash register. They always have t-shirts and stuff for sale at the cash register. I've grabbed a few. They're good quality and they have really nice art on them. So I like them. Here's me grabbing some Dr. Pepper and overfilling, of course, because I'm clumsy like that. And then they have a section for condiments and forks and knives and stuff. So I'm going to grab a couple of forks for the fries that I got and then like a big old pile of ketchup because I love ketchup. Wesley and I chose to sit at the bar. We don't usually sit at the bar, but we thought it would be fun for the video. From here, you can see um, the grill and you can see everyone making the burgers and stuff. And they have a TV screen if you wanted to watch something. And then they have, like I said before, a lot of art and signs and cool stuff on the walls. There's a few people at the bar with us, other people sitting at tables. You can even sit outside. Here's a little clip of us waving at the camera because I don't know why. And here's our food. We got the honey chipotle wings, which are usually only available on Sunday and some Saturdays. And then we got the primate style fries, which are fries with cheddar cheese, Thousand Island, and grilled onion. And then we got to share the immortal burger, but we substituted the sauteed mushrooms for the jalapeno bacon. And here's a look at both of us holding our little burger halves. And there's us waving to the camera again because we're socially awkward. But anyway, the burger was super good. It actually tastes so delicious. It has blue cheese, red onion, field greens, and the jalapeno bacon that I added. And the jalapeno bacon is like really thick and caramelized. And it's kind of got like a little sweet flavor to it. But it is so spicy. Like it is even spicier than the wings. But the wings were really good too. They were like more sweet, like you could taste the honey in them, but they still had a little bit of a spice to them. If you are um, can't handle a lot of spice, you would definitely like these. But if you're like me and you like something super spicy, then don't expect them to be too spicy. But they did have a lot of meat on them and they were like really well made, so I do recommend those. They're even approved by my husband. <laughs> so now I'm trying the primate style fries. And um, guys, I love these. I get these as much as I can. I can't eat them when I get the burger because I just can't eat that much but if my husband's willing to split a burger with me I always get these. I love that they're like crispy and flavorful and yummy and even though they have the sauce and everything on top they don't get soggy. They're still really really like fresh tasting and they have a lot of flavor to them. So I definitely recommend these or high on fries. Those are really good too. And then here's a quick clip of me being annoying to my husband like always and making him try the fries on camera too. And I can happily say they are Wesley approved for sure. All right, so we're back now from the restaurant. I think everything was really good. I thought it was really good as well. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is our first like kind of vlog style. So if you guys liked it, let us know in the comments and we'll try to film more like vlogs of us going out or trying food or doing new stuff. So. Anyway, love you guys so much. Um, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.